Hey, what's up YouTube? Josh here again. We are going to be swapping the steering wheel because I decided to go with a Sylvia S15 steering wheel instead because it's a little bit bigger. It's like 360 millimeters across and it looks shape-wise very similar to the R34 GTR's wheel. And the R34 GTR wheel is exponentially more money. Uh, has the Sylvia logo, which is similar to the Skyline logo. And then the, unlike the R34 doesn't have these little pieces on the side. But I ordered this, it's gonna fit perfect. And uh, the issue I was having with the Sparco wheel is that when I sit down, it's, it feels good, I really like the shape of it, but when I sit down, uh, the wheel is too small, so basically like when I'm driving, I can't see the speedometer or any of these gauges over here for like the the torque and like the top of the RPM. It's just under the wheel because my line of sight's like back up in here. So it's just too small, so I'm gonna swap it out. <laughs> So in order to gain access to the security bolts, we got to remove these little pieces on the back of the wheel. And then there's a security uh, bolt here that's got to be removed and you can see it's got the, like the little security head like that in there. So you have to have a specialty tool to get that out, which I have. And there we go. Center piece is out. You can see the airbag is still in there. Which I don't know how the airbag would work. Uh, I don't see any plugs off of this for it to deploy. Okay, so if you look at the back of the S15 wheel, there's no notches for the wires to go through on, for the wires to go through for the horn button on the factory steering rack. So I'm gonna have to, or the steering column. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna probably cut the top notch off, but I need the bottom one for the horn circuit to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the back of this plastic here and just make a little notch to kind of simulate uh, the spot for the factory hub. And the upper part's metal. I don't want to go through that. So I'm just going to, like I said, top, take the top notch off because it's not necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that out, cut it out, and we'll slip it on. <laughs> So I got the hole done in the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and just take off that metal bracket. There's a couple screws that hold it on and open up the center to just see how fitment goes. There we go, so that's opened up on the top and bottom now. And looking at the string, well this is the power input for the airbag right there. But my GTR doesn't have one, so that'll be a non-functional feature. All right, let's do the initial test fit. So there we go, that's on there. And you can see The bottom piece fits in there perfectly. This little spin with the horn 
button connected. And I think I'm just going to leave that top metal piece uh, off there because the string rack is being swiveled with that bottom piece no problem. So I can just go ahead and reattach this uh, horn button. And that'll move back and forth just fine just with that. So I don't need to alter that or cut that off, which is cool, fits perfect. And I just used a little bit of vacuum line and cut it to the right size and kind of wrapped it around the plastic to help keep that switch a little bit more secure when it moves. Less play, that way it doesn't wear anything out, any of the plastic pieces. Okay, so if you're trying to figure out what the horn is going to contact in order to make the sound, you can see like these areas are hot where like this whole, this doesn't make nothing. But where the, the string will come for the horn button is actually going to mount or make the contact is right here. And that connects right here is where it's touching. And so I just need to contact this metal piece. So what I came up with is this guy here. I'm going to use this little point right here to just slip this side in. So I've got that wedged in there and then when I screw this thing down to the uh, string wheel itself, when the security bolt goes through there, it's going to really squeeze that area down and tighten it so it won't come out. And then this side will just connect into right there. So that's it there. So that's connected to here, which connects to there. And then this can just sit right in there. And then when I push the horn, there we go, we're done. Let's get those safety bolts in. So it's all installed. Let's go ahead and start up the car. <laughs> Looks like that there. And let's test the steering wheel. Works good. Nice thing is I can see all the gauges all the way around. Or before that 330 millimeter just blocked everything. So that looks really good. Horn button works. So we are all done. Next thing I'm gonna probably do is just get like some leather, black leather dye. Dye the leather, kind of recondition it, and then uh, soak it in some oil after that soaks in for a while. That way it looks good, but I'm happy with it. The other thing I like is the way that this fits perfectly with the uh, steering column, like all the way around. It looks really good like it's supposed to be there. And very similar to the R34 GTR wheel. A black uh, boot and cream shoe polish with a horse brush. And I worked it into the leather on the wheel. So it mostly got rid of those spots that were on there. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's 95% better without having it prep professionally done anyway. But there it is. I think it looks good. Nice addition. see perfectly from the driver's seat into the instrument cluster. And this wheel feels really good when you go around corners and let it swin spin through your hands. The square bottom wheel was kind of hard to maneuver. It would kind of get stuck and kind of hung up. I, that's something I didn't think about. Uh, so yeah, it feels good in the hands. It, since it's a bigger wheel, it's easier to steer the car, which I like. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm happy with it. I think it looks nicer, looks like a stock wheel, it looks like the way it's supposed to fit, and it feels good. It's a nice fit, nice fit and finish, Horton and button, everything feels good, and it just feels like a more expensive wheel. It's manufactured by Nissan. It's, uh, it's just a nicer wheel. 
that's all there is to say about it. Okay, you're good, man. So I picked this up on eBay, and I'll have a link in the description down below if you want to get yourself a S15 Silvio wheel. There's quite a few of them still for sale on eBay, so get them while you can. They're very close to the R34 GTR wheel for like uh, probably a third of the price. This was around three, I think $310 shipped. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And uh, I'll be back with more videos. I'll see you then. Have a good one.